In this video, you will learn on how to perform a septic non-touch technique for simple wound dressing. Here we have a patient positioned well and comfortable for me to do the dressing. Another thing that you can consider is asking the patient if they have any pain. So when you do the dressing, patient is comfortable. Patient has been consented and well informed about the task. Now it's time to grab the equipment. Here I have the equipment ready. I've also cleaned the dressing trolley from top to bottom with the surface wipes and I've placed all my equipment underneath the dressing trolley. Now the next thing you gotta have to do is when you get the equipment, you gotta have to check the expiry date as well. And then once you're prepared, make sure that the patient is comfortable nice and ready for you to do the dressing. You might even put a bluey underneath the patient just to um, allow the bed to be nice and clean after your dressing. Now the other thing that you might consider is the placement of your bin. Okay, So it has to be closer to the wound itself because we wanted to practice that aseptic non-touch technique, making sure that we're not cross crossing over. When you get to your patient, make sure that you'll be doing another hand hygiene just before you do your dressing. Gla gra grab a um, pair of gloves. Now technically, your gloved hands is also unsterile. So in simple wound dressing, at times you can do it without wearing gloves. Now it's time to open your dressing pack. This is the time that you will really need to pay attention to be opening your pack as you can't be touching any part of the sterile field. Now it's time to open your dressing pack. When opening your dressing pack, as I said, always be careful in not touching your sterile field. Once you open it, one inch of the side is already considered unsterile. In this part, this is where you have to be careful in picking up your thongs. There are two ways to get this. One is you gotta have to be carefully grabbing the end of the thong and hold it this way. And another technique is you grab the thong this way and grab it like this. So it's nice and sterile. Now the yellow thong I'm going to be using to prepare my equipment. I'll be placing this close to the one. And I'm going to grab the, um, the drape to put underneath the patient's wound. And then I'll be grabbing the rest of my equipment to open the dressing pack carefully. Open it like so. And then when pouring your water for irrigation, I want you to pour it a few centimeters away from your sterile field. Now this yellow thong will remain as your um, extra thong. Okay, so we'll be using these two thongs to clean the wound. You can now prepare your gauze that you're going to be using to clean the wound. Ideally, if it's a simple wound dressing, three gauze would be enough. Now, while I'm preparing my gauze, I'm very careful not to touch any of the sterile field. Remember, your gloved hands is also unsterile, and that's why we're using the thong to prepare our gauze. And then we usually leave one or two gauze um, to dry the wound. 
Now I'm ready to dress the wound. To dress the wound, this is now going to be my clean hands or thong, and this is going to be the dirty thong. So very carefully to really pass on that cotton ball into the other the dirty thong that you're going to be using. Now to clean a circular wound, you got to start at the middle and then going out. And throw it like so. If it's a surgical wound, it's very important. If it's a straight cut wound, make sure to uh, wipe the wound from top to bottom. So you gotta have to make sure that this dirty thong doesn't come back on the um, sterile field anymore. While you're cleaning the wound, it's best to ask the patient if there's any uh, pain while you're doing the dressing. So then later on, you can prepare in advance if the patient needs something for pain or not. Now it's time to dry the wound. Grab your wound dressing appropriate for the wound that you have. Now, in case that the wound is um, oozing a little bit, it's best to use a foam dressing. Now, foam dressing can stay up to three to five days. So it's appropriate for the wound type that we currently have. To dress the wound, make sure that you'll be removing the top film and preserve the sterility of the wound, it's the wound dressing itself, and then put it on top of the wound like so. Now since this wound, now that we have done the dressing, make sure all the equipment has been properly disposed of. If it's an infected wound, make sure it's gonna go to the uh, clinical waste bin, and making sure that everything has been documented in the wound management form.